There was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. That number is going down. We got a lot of work to do, don't we? We talk about it every video. We're going to. The other thing we say is this, vets, we love you. You got a place here because we mean it. We back the blue over here. We support Leo. How do you do that, Scab? Well, we don't break the damn law best we can. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So today is the saber tooth. I've been waiting all week on this one, guys. I've tried to film videos all day. Finally got some time out there. This thing is a lot of fun. Now, we're going to talk about all aspects of it. First, it is made by the Shade House or Shade Indonesia. My guy Shaney over there just kills it. Solid, solid construction. It was designed by Don Moore Kramer. Now, Don is an awesome dude. He's a character and a half, but he's an awesome guy. He is with Carnivora. And Don, if you would, in the comments, just put a quick comment about what you do, that whole deal, and I will pin it. Let people get to know who you are, your website that's coming and all that. And I want to thank both Shaney and Don for getting a chance uh, to demonstrate this. Now, let me just say this, guys. This is my wheelhouse. This is my jam. I'm not saying it to be nice. The beauty of my channel for me is this. I say what's on it. Yes, I wanted to do this. This kind of stuff I freaking love. When I was a kid, I remember going to the mall. Some of y'all remember this. Those old cigar shops that have swords and axes and all that. Some of it was good, but a lot of it was just crap. And I've been waiting on somebody to try to bring functionality to fantasy. And I believe Don and Shaney have done that. Now, let me say this. The blade, well, best way to put it is you got about eight, eight and a half inches of cutting surface. This thing is razor sharp. It's quarter inch blade stock. It's made out of 5160. The handle's right at about eight inches long, maybe a little longer. There's got so many curves and grooves in it, it's kind of hard to measure, but those were just quick measurements I pulled. 5160 blade steel. The sheath is leather, beautiful sheath, hardcore, heavy sheath. It actually carries very, very well. Now, it is full tang construction. It has a little hammer pole on the back. Now, I want to show you all a couple things here with it. Does it work? Because first thing, oh, that's not for me and all this. Listen to me. This thing is straight up badassery. The, the thing that I was impressed with right off the rip is the sharpness. Now I want y'all to watch right here. Here's our zip tie test. At first we were hooking them, but look right here. Look at that. That's not hooking it. That's just sliding the blade down it. Here's our blast hose. We're going to cut it. The handle, it's micarta scales, very comfortable. Got two different grips. One you can choke up and do some uh, feather sticking, things like that. The other, you can drop your hand down and get some pretty good chopping. I also dropped my bottom two fingers off the bottom just to see how it would hold up. Very, very comfortable. Good grip. Now, first thing people's going to say is that point, that tooth. If you'll notice the saber tooth, you see the tooth edge down at the bottom. The damn thing's sharp. Trust me and believe you me when I tell you. However, I swung it full bore. Never got poked by that point. Now, if you've got a super large hand, uh, I did see a comment where Don said they do encourage people that's going to buy it. If you want to file it down, you can. That, that's fine. For me, it never was an issue, never got in the way. I cut my hands twice, but not swinging the axe just by not paying attention. It's sharp. Now, I want you all to look at the bites it's getting right there. Great for that. Watch this right here. This thing was fun, son. What? Boom. Gone. Thank you. Now. Now, 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 I spent a little bit of time. This is that four by four decorative post. I sped it up just a little bit because I was out there a while. This is the post that could not be destroyed. It was cursed. It had voodoo. And I'm going to tell you right now, it got meleeed. It got destroyed. The other thing that I was really, really impressed with, I, my car to handles always are nice and they're very comfortable. But the other thing was the control. When you take a piece like this and you're trying to make it functional, there has to be a certain amount of balance. There has to be a certain amount of control. I'm telling y'all, it landed every time where I wanted it to. Now, somebody say, well, Scab, you use one every day or you use an axe every day or a knife every day. I do, and I encourage everyone to do that. Use your stuff. This isn't something, I will say this, 
This ain't something you want to just grab onto and bet your life on it without practicing with it. You don't want to do that with anything. Use your gear. Up your skill level. Right here, this saber tooth, this was the most impressive. It's not only impressive to some people, but go back a few videos. I've hammered knives through this thing. I've done all kinds. Of, oh, it scab with them karate moves right here, son. Now, in a couple weeks, my guy Jimbo, whom I love dearly, is going to be doing some barbecuing. This thing is so sharp, and I'm telling y'all the God's honest truth, I'm going to do another video of nothing but food prep with it. I really am. Here's a soccer ball. I just want to show y'all cutting a little leather, pleather, whatever it is. No problem. It went straight through it very, very quickly. Again, the sharpness, the control, spot on. And again, guys, is it for everybody? Probably not, but I love it. Now, there is, I believe, and Don can answer this in his post, I believe there's going to be a version with a longer handle. You will see that on my channel. I don't give a damn when it comes out. I'm buying it. I want it bad. The other thing, if, if, if some of you are thinking Shade House, that's familiar. The Nightmare 3 from Work Tough Gear did a phenomenal job on that as well. Work Tough Gear took their design, I believe Don and Shaney's design, and made a beautiful piece, functional piece. This right here is just straight up badassery. Watch it work. That's the way we set our videos up, right? You can turn my loud mouth off. You can watch the axe work. Look at the bikes it's getting. Look, every time I'm holding it. Now, for a good part of that, there goes that vine, and here will go this vine. I like chopping the vines, and to my dear tree-hugging friends, there was one tree out there, one, that we actually cut down. That was this one. That's because the owner asked me to. You see that mule tape around my neck? Cut it down and mark it. We were marking out uh, a certain area. They're knocking all this down. Bulldozers will be in in the next year or so to take everything out. So everybody just take a breath. It's coming out anyway. I took the mule tape and I marked the stump. He asked that I would do that. We're marking some boundaries. He's good enough to let me out there and do some stuff. And I'm appreciative. The other wood that you're seeing get cut down, I think it's been knocked down by the meth crafters. And we had a hellacious storm. So... There's plenty of stuff in the swamp. I thought you've got to have the saber tooth in the swamp. And there we are now. Look here, guys. None of this, none of this part sped up. This is just a wood processing monster. I love it. Okay? Got no dog in the fight. Got no reason. This ain't the QVC channel. Buy it. Don't, don't give a shit. I'm just telling you. Our channel, what do we do? Does it work? That's the question. I'm not worried about the artistic lines. I'm not worried. Does it work? Does the saber tooth work? You're damn right it does. Look at the bites it's getting. It's made for chopping. It's made for cutting. It is a freaking animal. I can't wait for the long handled version. The other thing is this. My guy, Zeke Minacho, has a design out with Don that shade Indonesia built. I can't wait to get my hands on this. It's a longer knife with a dowel type in. I can't wait. Straight up chopper. Again, with the control right here, watch. We're going to hold the log and we're just going to chop a tip on it. Straight through it, son. Right here was me kind of dicking around. A storm blew up. I was out in the middle out there. Didn't have anything with me. In my, in my go bag, I, I usually take a little go bag with some, some first aid supplies because you know old Scab will hit itself about 14 times. I didn't have anything. No tarp, no nothing. Watch this right here. This is just one of them long weeds, but I want y'all to see kind of the sharpness level of this thing, how clean it cuts when I hit it cleanly, right there. Now, everybody knows that I enjoy making spears and punji sticks for the neighborhood kids. That's just part of what we do. Look at the clean right there. Now, right here, we're just going to clean the stick up a little bit. We're going to put a little bit more of an edge on it or a point on it. Choked up grip. That grip is insanely comfortable. Insanely comfortable. Now, in several segments, you're going to see me chopping hardwood, firewood, whatever, the stump, two by fours. Now, here's the thing. Right there, there's a pressure tree to two by four. I mean, no problem whatsoever. Here in a second right here this is some of that old petrified damn firewood all right hard as a brick back my guy jimbo let me borrow it or steal it whatever 
I swung straight into it several times. You're going to see me chopping, just banging. I'm testing or checking the edge. That brings me to this. My guy, Brandon Thrasher. Brandon has an awesome channel. And Brandon made a comment the other day, and, and he's right. He said, we need to start bringing up blade maintenance more. Guys, with my testing, going hard on a blade, going hard on an edge, they're bound to chip. You use a knife every day, it's bound to chip. All right? We got to learn to maintain it, learn to fix it. There's a lot of guys who will whine and bitch about it. That's part of life. And most of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about because you know what you're doing. Brandon, that was an awesome comment. We're going to start covering a little more blade maintenance, okay? And a lot of you guys that have been in the woods and been using knives your whole life, put some tips down there in the comments. I'm appreciative of every tip I get. And again, let me stress this. I know a lot of you guys know what the hell you're doing and what the hell you're talking about. So if you got a tip, put it in the damn comments. And Brandon Thrasher, again, go check out Brandon's channel. Awesome dude. That leads me to this. Donnie B. All Day, my brother from another mother, actually did a jam up video on that um, Nightmare 3. Go check him out. But listen, go subscribe to Donnie. He's going to 10,000 subs. Let's get him there. Blade Talk with Scab and Joe. That's my other channel with my partner, Joe. Subscribe there. Joe, Steel's Forged and Fire Sword and Knife, my partner on Blade Talk. Go subscribe to him, man. The big two were really, really pushing this month or till they get to 1,000. It's Carl Ruger. Carl just put out a damn cool video on making some stuff out of pallets. Awesome channel. I love that video. I watched it twice. And Eric Hussein, who just literally cut could cut a portal in time, some with a katana. Eric Hussein, Carl Ruger, Brandon Thrasher, Donnie B. All Day, Joe from Steel Force and Fire. There will be links in the description, guys. Go check them out, man. And for all of you guys, for all of you who shout me out, man, thank y'all. And a big shout out goes to the Shredder family as well. They got a video coming up pretty soon. They're giving some knives away. I got a condor. Um, buoy, some kind of buoy that I just drew a damn brain fart on. Somebody remind me, and I don't, I can't, it's the Plan A buoy. Badass. I'm giving it away for their thousand. So the Shredder family, go check them out. They're going to do a video and give three of my knives away. It'll be exciting. Well, guys, listen, we got about a minute left. This thing was a lot of fun. Let me hit the high points again. Don Moore Kramer is the designer. Shade Indonesia is the builder. Now, Don, Don's company is Carnivora, and he's going to put some stuff in uh, the comments to let you know a little bit more about that. They got a website coming up. This thing is an absolute beast. From start to finish throughout this video, it chopped, it prepped wood, never once chipped, never once dinged. Yeah, it's not supposed to, it's an axe. I know that. But this thing is an absolute beast beast. I can't wait for more stuff to check out. Again, guys, this kind of stuff's in my wheelhouse. I love it. I love y'all. God knows I do. My guy Mikey says it best. Everything is going to be okay. Happy Easter. I'm scabbed. You're not. I'm gone, son.